into this um, hour, hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so let's get to it. So just to refresh your memories, uh, we talked about making things better and doing things a little bit differently. We talked about re-engineering something as simple as a bottle to be able to make it a more efficient product. Um, did we talk about the bottle as a light bulb yet? No, okay. Well, let me see if I can play that video, okay? So um, we talked about reimagining different uses for the bottle as an art installation, a chandelier, a bird feeder, a plant holder, um, a better design, but can be also used, let me see if this works here, a light source. So basically, we're going to take these principles that we built on from the first and second lectures, and we're going to get you to start to apply them today, okay? Um, so again, another example of thinking differently. I always like to update these slides because every year is something different. Um, here's another idea of thinking differently. Having your plants email you when they're thirsty. And so what one of the scientists did was he put uh, sensors, uh, hydration um, and humidity sensors in soil, and then connected that to... Um, his email, so basically when the hydration level, the humidity levels of the soil drop below a certain um, level, he would get an auto email from the spinach plant, essentially saying, I'm thirsty, feed me, so, which is kind of adorable and cool, okay? So today we're gonna go in three steps. I want you to first get comfortable working with each other, learn a little bit more about working with each other. Um, since we're still fairly new into the semester, we've introduced ourselves a little bit, we know a little bit about each other's backgrounds, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Then we're going to focus on the art of brainstorming because there's actually um, methodologies around this and how we do so productively and constructively. And then finally, we're going to focus on taking a crazy idea and turning it into a business. 
okay? And then you'll present on that and we'll have a little bit of discussion, okay? So part one, 12 minutes, um, just a little bit of the objective. So learning to brainstorm, learning to think differently, learning to think in an operational and executionable manner, and then also talking about the land of it, unintended consequences, because for every um, net positive technology we have, there are also just as many cautionary tales, whether that's true of social media, the internet, AI. I'm sure there's someone who said what could go wrong only to be proven wrong hundredfold. Okay, so for the first part of this workshop, I'm going to distribute um, post-it notes and pens and sharpies. And you are going to take a couple minutes and write, talk to me about, and then you're going to list one, two, three items, okay? And it can be anything from your beloved pet rock collection, it can be your passion for Pokemon, um, it can be your startup business that um, was sold and um, acquired by a major international company, whatever you want folks to know about you, okay? And you don't have to talk about all of the things, so we're gonna, it's gonna kind of be like a ping pong session. We're gonna do, you're gonna break off into pairs of two. You're gonna pick one thing to talk about. I'm gonna, one person will talk about their background. We're gonna switch, the other person talks, and then we'll switch partners a few times. And the idea is to kind of build those collaborations and let you know about each other. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna distribute these. So, I'm gonna, Take a stack of post-it note and then pass it down, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Take a stack of post-it note and then pass it down. I'm going to take some markers and sharpies here. Just kind of pass it down. Take some sharpies, pass them down. There you go. Okay, and then just take the next few minutes to write down and talk to me about one, two, or three things. When you're done, put your pens down, and then um, I'll just watch for the last person to put their pen down, and then we'll actually start mingling, okay? Any questions on that? And I have more post it note and Sharpie in case you need it. Quick question. Yes. So these are personal things yeah. I want to work on, or I've done? Yeah, anything that, about your background, like if you, you know, if you are a secret Olympic medalist and want to talk about it, put that down, something interesting in your childhood, favorite fact, something, anything about that. Thirty more seconds. So finish up what you're working on. Does anyone need more time? No. Nope. All right. So we're gonna put um, ninety seconds on the clock. So I want you guys to break off into pairs of two. Okay. There'll be one group of three, uh, and that's fine. Okay. And then you're gonna spend. Sorry, not ninety seconds. Two minutes and one person talks about any one thing and it can be something that you see that's interesting on the other person's post-it note, it can be something they want to talk about. So, on your marks, get set. So we'll do a group of two, group of two, group of three, okay? All right, on your marks, get set, here we go. Hello. Do you want to All right. Wait, wait. I'm making a I'm making a I'm making a solution. Okay. 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 Okay.
I've been to Serbia, Italy, Serbia, Italy, Greece. I've never been to Western Europe, or like far, far west. That's what's going on. Yeah, that's how it's program. Yes, so So you went to uh, Afghanistan, to Ontario, to you to you you to to figure out I also like to I love traveling. I to I to to that's so cool. You stay in the Yeah. That's so Obviously. The way I see it is like you never regret the money you spend on travel. And it's like I would way rather travel right now when I'm 20 years old. Exactly. I can fully enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to start with that. I feel like this is my window. But now it's like the one you want to start. I think I'm going to be 70. Black and white up and down. Like a story streets and building a base. The first year we're going to have that. We were last in our room, but then the like, second year, I decided to do it again. I wasn't happy with the result, and I was like, you know, I feel like that was more ridiculous. And that's because we actually watched the whole video. Like, so, like, yeah, we went to the playoffs, and I was like, I was really happy with myself then. And like, it kind of showed me that, you know, even though like, open I didn't get to like, I had three, to do it. Two, two, one, and that is time. Okay, so now we're going to mix up the groups. Okay, so we want uh, new groups of two, two, and three. Okay. So if you're in a group of three, try to make it a group of two now, okay? So you guys go about your merry ways, everyone mingle, and then we'll restart the clock once you reform. No. Yeah, for sure. And I came with my girlfriend. I'm really bad at it. I'm starting now. I'm really at a counting degree in my interest in quite basic. I'll be honest. 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 I
Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, this is probably really big into travel. I'm 21 years old, and I feel like right now is like the best time to travel. You're young. Of course, you got to be smart with your money overall. Yeah. But one thing I always like tell people about travel is like, you never regret the money you spend. I actually getting all of these life experiences. I feel like it helps shape you as a person, being experiencing. Yeah. 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 You guys been anywhere cool travel? Right on. Like, like, do a big trip, but I feel like this is hard to find what for like. I go to do is that finish my degree, graduate, and then before I start my big boy job and go into the career, I'm going to go on like one massive vacation. Yeah. Like, I've, I've been doing so much for most of the time. I've been serving, I've been doing so much for the I've been so much places in North America. I think it's like some of the most important. So I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to like turn 21, right? Yeah. And, um, I feel like there's a lot more experiences yes. than just going in and seeing what the culture is going on. 20 seconds, everyone. How are you doing, girl? How are you doing, girl? How are Okay, so now switch it up. So if someone has been talking, you know, switch up the partners, switch up the topics, and stay in the same groups, and go. Let's go art one. Oh, there's a lot of good ones. Like a pre done like one that's not. Which one do you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about Actually, taking a double uh, double major, I feel like it's a really good break to do some of that you're passionate about, something that interests you. Well, I feel like since you're doing a double major, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that like, this is something you're really interested in. This is something you enjoy doing. So like, it doesn't really feel like work. Right? It's a nice break from my stress. But it's like it's a little bit the fact that like you can walk through and like kind of see what you want to make. Yeah, you know I mean, like does that happen to you? Like, like just, right? Because I can't really have to think about it. Yeah, right. Like well, I can't do that. Like I have to really force myself to be like. What can I really make out of this? But it's really uh, like, saw that you're like, oh, I'm on it. It's usually my, my mind. It's a lot more, I think it's a lot more than I actually have skill to do like my work and stuff. It's like, I went to like a clay painting place with my girlfriend and I had like this grand idea of what I was going to paint and in the end I was like, it was just a bunch of circles and blobs on these. So, um, have a seat. Hey, day one, find out anything interesting. Yeah. Anyway? Yeah. So I heard lots of cool topics, art, dance, masters, pharmacology, accounting, I feel like I, with the people that I talk to, I had like a lot of things in common. Like uh, with him, I I had traveling. Like we both love traveling and stuff. And with her, um, um, I we both love dancing and like yeah. art. So like it's, yeah, it's just cool to know that like 
there was a, a yeah. yeah, it was really cool circulating and eavesdropping on the conversations. I think I heard Italy, Serbia mentioned for yeah. travel. Um, I heard, I think, something about basketball finals. Where was that? <laughs> basketball. Um, what kind of dance came up? So she does. Um, um, it's Bongo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and? And I do salsa and chocolate like cuisine. Wow, okay, very cool. Lots of talent in this class. Maybe there'll be a dance sheet that comes out of it. Okay. Um, all right, so feel free to pick up on any conversations uh, beyond this class. Okay, so now, now that we've kind of scratched the surface, become a little bit more comfortable, get a sense of who we are, we're going to talk about brainstorming. Okay, so there's different methodologies out there. The one that I used for this workshop comes from one of the foremost design houses in the world. Uh, IDEO. So these are IDEO's ideas they're, um, uh, or principles of brainstorming. They're publicly available on their design house website, IDEO.org. Okay. Uh, and basically, we want to work together to build on each other's ideas. So um, I'm going to be circulating and see how you brainstorm. And But basically, we want you to defer judgment. Even if something is so very obviously against the principles of physics, it defies the like concepts of gravity, proposals faster than light travel, don't care. We want to encourage wild ideas. We want to build off the ideas of others. So we don't want you kind of working in silos, silently, everyone like scribbling on a post-it note, but we want you to say, oh hey, you have an idea for an automated house of the future. What if we integrated a uh, internet of things kind of concept to make sure we could monitor the atmosphere at all times, right? That's what we mean by building on each other's ideas. Okay, and then focusing on one topic at a time and, and one conversation at a time, not talking over each other. I highly encourage you to be visual. So if you want to draw stick figures, I hear there's a couple artists in the class. And then go for quantity. So every class is very uniquely different. Some are just so, um, I guess, maybe scarred by academia and scared of being wrong that you filter yourselves too much. And then we have maybe three quarters of the session gone and you have two ideas down on a piece of uh, whiteboard. Uh, that's not what we want. We want to cover the whiteboards that I'll distribute here, and we want to see all of your ideas, right? Um, so we are going to do, how many people do we have here? We have eight, so we'll do, or sorry, seven. Okay, so we'll do a group of three and a group of four, okay? Uh, however you want to um, divide yourselves. And you're gonna pick one of these topics, okay? And then you are going to generate ideas around it, okay? And that you're gonna take 15 minutes, and by the end of it, I wanna see the whiteboard totally covered. I do not wanna see any white, okay? Um, so your ideas or your concepts are things that should really exist. So if you want a time travel machine, you know, uh, if you want a faster than light travel, put it all down on paper. Uh, pet peeves, sometimes those things come hand in hand. Greatest challenges in the world, greatest trends or technologies, Way to, ways to positively impact 10, 100, all the way up to a million people. Um, and then applications for AI or machine learning. Back in the pandemic, this used to be ways to solve COVID. It changes over the net. evolution of the course, okay? Um, would you guys like to self-organize? Do you want me to pick groups? How do you guys want to do this? Okay, so group of three, group of four, done. Okay, so this will be your whiteboard. Okay, um, feel free to use all of the post-it notes you guys have at your disposal. I'm going to come by and take some one board over here. Um, we'll have all the Sharpies here, you have post-it notes, okay? So, don't spend too much time worrying about a topic. That's where groups often injure themselves. Um, spend no more than two minutes finding a topic and then go at it, okay? Oh, did I take it off? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, And the clock is starting now. What can we think of that will generate other platforms and have customer software? And that's my background. Uh, Shareable value. Yeah. 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 I know it's like uh, kind of a hot topic. I'm just kind of inspired by it. How the first slide she was talking about. There's multiple uses for balls. I was thinking it's an idea that's already been done before. Right. They can all draw balls that are shaped like bricks. Yeah. So, we should have people in various countries, they could take those bricks shaped balls and make them shaped like bricks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
whatever was or easier something for like, I think it would be really or whatever was like ways to because it's kind of like it's, it's hard because you have there's to a lot pick of people the serving right right and sometimes <laughs> so you know you don't know how much exactly you're eating so what if it was easier than that and it'd just be like right away be able to tell you what you need to all the macros and what you're doing. Okay, there's like, it's like, so this is like the food, right? I'm pretty much too much. Something like, sensory or technical. Well, what do we want? Not like exactly what the calories, protein, And feel free to have a and like easier to like also figure out serving size. Right. Because I don't know how much like a quarter of the food. Yeah, right? And no sugar that can be used to help people. As long as there's people who need, there's always a difference. Maybe like, Scale, uh, yeah, because there's so many things you're measuring. And how mm -hmm. You know how, how everything is like, 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 and then my thought process is you see it as being what if like then you have to bring it with them. Like a bio detector, like you know, like there's some sort of so like making it usable. Mm -hmm. I was gonna no, because it would be too late uh, if it was like a chip in the mouth, kind of like a crown. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Sure, you know what? Fair that's enough. Awesome. Like a crown? That would be actually sick because that's like great exactly what you're putting in your mouth again. Oh. Then again, it's a little too late when it's too much. And then you're, you're filling like, up your whiteboard with ideas or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. like, so I don't think that's really a good idea. Yeah, if it was like that would be a stand like compared to your phone. Or it was like glass of bricks. Reusing. Pretty much forever. Yeah. And plastic never, pretty much never ever in our lifetime. So just like, we could put that into maybe something that should really exist, right? Yeah. Have you guys saw a similar one? No. Oh, no, 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 um, what else? So, like, so I really like the idea of the, the crushing and knitting, right? And the fact that it's kind of like you can customize it such like what you want, right? So my thought process was that like you can start thinking about like shoes, yeah. like how like customizable that is to you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like I know that I'm the only one facing this way. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Like for example, there's and like I guess it already is customizable, mm -hmm. but like there's so many processes mm -hmm. until it gets to you, right? right? Like, um, I know that like mm -hmm. sometimes you have to like break it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. If, does that happen in basketball? Oh, basketball. Oh, most people like breaking into shoes is a huge thing. I feel like that's on a like, 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 I guess maybe that's like, value. That's like a huge thing. I don't think in basketball people care too much. But people are really thinking about the design. I only mentioned it just because. So maybe because I just like the amount of like like the amount of power you have in the shoes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Plastic bottles are very customizable. Do you know how people like grow to be a, or like a small or like a or whatever? You kind of have like one so sander yeah, so yeah, and it's a sole. It's not a cool call to have them off with the shape of the Right? We can all have like a sole. Sorry. They're all one. So you can have like a sole where the material is flexible enough that it can just mold to your butt. No, I'm just trying to try to get the puzzle like, you know, like, like trying to drive in a way that I can tell explain. Just sometimes you don't automatically know what's wrong, but unless you are getting a train, that goes wrong with the whole thing. Right. So like, but is able to tell you pretty much right on the foot, the shoe is able to tell you like right off the bat, it's a sprain, it's a tear, it's a... Right. So it's like markers, that's what I like, yeah, that makes that doesn't make sense. Wow, that's so sick, yeah. Because yeah, like in basketball, that's like, like every other, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Don't forget, we want to see the white space. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep on um, yeah, generating different ideas. Totally unrelated topics as well. Just oh. throw down okay. your entire volume of ideas. Um, it's a total brain dump. What's another thing that we can talk about? It's a shared Well, I think that you should have, like, I don't know, like, like, have, like, built-in, like, some stuff that you can actually... Yeah. I was actually straight towards that, yeah. Oh, um, what about like performance activity? Performance activity? Yeah, mm -hmm. like um, in a sprinter shoe, how fast they're running. Oh, like metrics, so like, oh, yeah, you're Yeah, like, um, performance. Like metrics, so like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, right. like the watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like the watch, but in your yeah. shoe. Yeah. Right, tell you like exactly how much like force you're applying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and then maybe if you're like lacking, um, you know, mm -hmm. at your fastest time, it could give you mm -hmm. some drill like, suggestions. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I never bought these oh, as a kid. Right, yeah. that's like my biggest regret. I never had those. So like, so like, you know, it should be like. I know in like snowboarding, it's like they're coming up with like snowboarding sets. Five minutes, forty-five yeah. seconds left. So, so you have white space. Start filling in. Like it would take like an hour for this. Block of ice. Yeah, regulate your temperature. Fancier. Can we build shelter? Can we build boats? Can we have like something to like like motion or like fans? Uh, yeah, that's like, over. Look at that, you four x your real estate. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Good work, you guys. Thank you. Oh, we can have something. Oh, yeah. So, so, like, okay, so we developed like, like that was the one that you told like, right? Like, yeah, that was right? the one that was like, so we like, moved towards something that's what you want to do. So we were thinking about this question, and um, sorry, what was the bottle? I actually need to show you, like, it's not like a bottle. Well, I mean, the possibilities are endless. It can be used to build a shelter. It can be used to plants. It can be used for kids' toys. Yeah, but like making it in a way that it's just I'm saying it'll be very hard to maintain their nutrition plan on the road. Five minutes to get rid of that white space. Oh, maybe it's in the universe. No pressure, but it's like food. They can find more light. You know what I mean? They can go into springs. I've never been taking time like that. If I go with their, I'm not going to look after it. Speak like a man. So, can you find that teenagers to um, culture? 
Or maybe like it can translate because I know like when I put sometimes the traveling in the menu, not everything's in English. Mm -hmm. So maybe like it can also translate the ingredients. Yes. And that could apply to like allergens as well. There's always going to be someone that just doesn't do it. Kind of like how the city government gave everybody compost bins and all that stuff over time. But the board feels the stuff in the garbage and not the compost bin. Like, sure, the problem might exist. Yeah, human. Like, make human change. Yeah, block the idea from being successful. Maybe I think it's something that I'm not going to do when I'm ready. Oh, that's you. 99. Maybe like a group of 100 people and like 99 other people will do it in a different society. So you can do it and then just like creates like a chain reaction. Can it well, yeah, it looks real. It the human aspect. Yeah, kind of right. right. It's that some people aren't just going to, they're not going to buy it. Or, 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 or
in the shower, so I want something that can just allow me to think in that mind state all the time. Oh. Um, so feel free, that idea is yours if you want it. <laughs> um, okay, so I actually noticed two really interesting things. So you guys actually really seem to enjoy the pressure, right, towards the end. You just thought, okay, we're going to bring them. <laughs> How did you guys handle the pressure? I'm not a big fan of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit stressed. Yeah. Um, and then how did it feel trying to remove the shackles of, oh my god, what if I suggest something that is outside of the realm of academia? Did it feel like you were kind of breaking some rules? Yeah. Did it take some kind of unthinking to do? Yeah, I, I noticed that. So it's really interesting because every group has its own flavor. Some folks will try to get away with putting down three post-it notes uh, and really have to kind of you know, pull and work to get um, the ideas down. Some groups just go with it and have post-it notes upon post-it notes. One of the most interesting examples of volume generation came the first time we ran this during the pandemic. So we did this in um, on Zoom, in the breakout rooms, and we did shared Google Docs. And uh, one group came up with 73 <laughs> ideas in 15 minutes. Uh, they chose pet peeves. And it was everything from people who don't put the toilet seat down, which is a legitimate problem, to um, loud fireworks, not sure how they got to that, um, dirty nails, uh, or when hair doesn't get the curls you want, which I heard this group talking about hat hair, yeah. legitimate problem. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm really glad that you guys uh, played ball, and I heard a lot of um, both groups were really good and um, unique about really working together to develop ideas, so good job on that. Okay, so step three, track you along. I want you to pick your favorite idea from everything you've come up with, your wildest crazy idea, and we're going to turn it into a business, okay? So um, you're going to have 20 minutes to do this, I'll call it the time as we go along, and I have two templates for you, for you to work from. So the first one um, is just a question um, template, some people prefer that, so I want to know what is your idea, what you're selling, what need does it serve, and what problem does it solve. Okay. And then I also want you to think about who will use it versus who will buy it. Those are two different things. So for example, toys, kids use it, parents buy it. So when marketing, that's important. Uh, what your business model is, how you're going to make money, what threats or hurdles you face, what external help you need and who can help you, um, whether that's a subject domain expert. Um, if you have time, name your company, draw me a logo. Uh, and then the first step you need today to make progress, just one simple step. Okay, so some people like the question format. Um, or we can turn this into Mad Libs, same thing. At Company X, we have created product name Y um, because of such and such problem, designed for such and such user. It will appeal to this buyer because of this value add. We anticipate these hurdles and will overcome them by such and such mitigation strategy. Some of our strengths include, and you can name your assets and your networks, and we will make money by such and such business model. And then the first step we need to take to achieve this goal today is your actionable plan. Okay? So um, if you want, so do you guys have a preference which model you use off the bat? I like the first one. First, first one? one yeah. Okay, do you guys want the second one? Okay. Do you guys want to take a quick picture of yeah. this one? And then we'll go on the second one. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll leave this up. And, and you guys aren't committed to each one. If you want me to switch back to the other one, we can do that. And your 20 minute period starts. Uh, like okay. Right now. Okay, let me know if you can see the first idea. I'll see if I can back yeah, the idea of how much methane comes from our like cells. Mm -hmm. And how I feel like that's not flammable. Yeah, that's cool. Like that's cool. Right? I feel like we've had a lot of trades. It goes, it encompasses a lot of the stuff that we've talked about. With like about mass consuming in a lot of countries. I like that one, and I also like the footwear. We were talking a lot about footwear. So if we're going to be those two, I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm kind of thinking of what you were talking about on this one. Yeah. So my whole thought process is that for electricity, this is important because with all this crazy, right, everybody needs that. Second of all, I think it's really marketable because we're bringing our teams, right? We can market it to them effectively because a lot of that and the arts, I don't know about other sports, but basketball players are really into everything that comes to basketball. Like that's like culture, clothing, all that. A lot of them like to get grills, exactly, right? So it's easy to market. Get that basketball like, players, and then that, that because basketball players are wearing it, so, then yeah. you yes. don't want that. You so it's like starting to print some graphics, right? Yes. And, yeah, right? And so you can just make it like a thing where it's like, hey, by the way, this just looks so crazy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Exactly, right? Yeah. And it's just perfect for them, right? And then kids are going to want it all, right? And then when kids are just saying, then that's their thing. It's not like it all. Having better health is huge, yeah. all right? Okay, and then click. It's like, you can see the same thing with some of that, but like, it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like that. That was myself. Exactly. That was my idea behind the song. It's just an unavoidable stop. Exactly. Right. So exactly. Right. Exactly. And yeah. it'll keep players, even they might not like it, accountable. Accountable. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. Oh, then it makes everything easier because then they don't have to worry about uh, like doing drug tests. Yeah. All that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So basically, you're biting that. You're biting that. Okay. I think we'll do that one. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. 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 Nothing yeah. pretty much the stuff that's happening. Exactly, right? Because yeah. that was my problem. It's because we love shoes. We can leave it out of that. Are you guys using it? Okay, is that what you're doing? What are humans really good at? I'm sorry. I feel like there's so much on that. So, like, that's where they have to go. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We have all our plans. It will always keep happening. It's under the lights. Sorry, I didn't tell. No, no worries. It's your best workspace on the screen. It's just fine. Okay, so we can just like go like. Pretty one, or you can one. So like, what product? Like, you can have like. If we need to get creative, oh, of course. Yeah. So I'll do like one. So the first question is, what is your idea? What are you selling? So now the question is, what are like are we thinking an implant or? Developing a system that collects yep. rather than or a crown, it could also us be easier to put ourselves in the yeah. yeah. science. Right. The whole idea behind this. Or are we thinking even how to develop a nation? See through retainer. Oh, fuck that. So then that would be more along the lines of a grill. Right. Or the crown, I feel like it would be more comfortable because it's just one tooth versus the whole row. So first you have to like. Let's say a crown like the different tooth. So the crown is just like down on single tooth. Yeah, so it just goes down on single tooth. It's like when um, some people get like, oh. yeah, right? Yeah, you get two, two crowns, so. Um, yeah, or we could also move yeah. towards, I know a couple of my friends, they went towards having a lead diamond. Oh yeah, like a tooth gem? Like, yeah, like a tooth gem, yeah. Cool, cool. So we could also go that route as well. Or a combination. Have, I think we can have, like, kind of, right now, we like, open to a, a wired consumer. I think maybe mm. women might be so then, okay, and then using the crown material, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what, let's do that. We'll say that we're thinking That's about like some type of highly flammable. Yeah. Or I guess, yeah, like we could probably limit ourselves to just one time and let the consumer pay right. what they prefer. Exactly, because after like, if um, we're assuming this is going to be a multi billion dollar business. Yeah. Right? We're rich. Um, yeah, yes. right? So, at that point, you can just kind of accommodate to like whatever. We'll have enough. We have enough. We'll just make a product for anybody who wants it, right? So, we can do gem retainer and a crown, whatever, right? Grill. Grill. Yeah. So, we have to be ready to serve So, well, it's, what is your idea? What are you selling? And so, maybe we should add a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can I make a uh, that contains? Yeah. So um, I don't want you to get too bogged down in the details of which idea you pick because I'll, someone I've seen in the past is it'll be 18 mm -hmm. minutes in and you're still deciding on uh, your product. Yeah. Yeah. Suspend, you yeah, have one more minute to decide on your product. Yeah. And then make sure you close your eyes and point, that'll be your product because there will still yep. be other stuff. Modern and ideas will after that. Um, um, environmental, like. So drug wars. Don't even Yeah. 3.7 million metric tons of methane are produced every 20 years. Would you drink drug use? 3.7 million. I think okay. So, for the first time, should we like do it? Like, 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 because it's all around us. It's mm -hmm. generally yeah. we'll never run out of it. Okay. Well, it's a nothing percent of candies. What meat does it serve? Yeah. Sorry? So, oh, it's, what meat does it serve? So, 
And um, I wonder what problem does it solve? And maybe should let's, should we like, just put all like, eight, the kind of just numbers, just so we have a real space? Sure. Just in um, case. The <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, too um, dumb. Sorry, I'm using my, my business. Just like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I could say athlete. Well, uh, nothing is uh, like especially like, 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 on like when they're eight thousand and more. Yeah. 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 And should we emphasize the health part? I'm actually having to find out what's the nutrients. How much right? Yeah, that makes it more right? So it's like yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
just yeah. 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 Yeah.
know that's tough. Because my thought process was that if we're doing something. This looks like a W. Oh, right? Wait, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Because I'm watching YouTube videos about urban exploration, like abandoned buildings, mm -hmm. and there's places all around the country, all around the world. I like the original better though. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Because one thing I know about athletes is they're moving towards some kissing, and all their logo like Nike. Yeah. And athletes, yeah. So if we're appealing to those types of, like, you know what I mean? Because if we're eventually getting into so stuff, why? Like, what they would do like, is branding countries like, what's going to look like when we're selling it and like, they'll resell our original stuff, like, whatever, whatever, right? We need to look foundation will sink and whatever building they yeah, that looks yeah, like a, good. Yeah, I like it. Three and then that can be like the last one. Three minutes and twenty seconds. Yeah, it's perfect. Is that the final time? I think that's very good. So, do you want to like CFC first? We have a logo. Doesn't need that one. I like that one. I like that one. I think as you come up with the first one, like, think of stuff. This product, but I don't know what to say. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's Childlike? Uh, you like to carry that thing? Oh, I turned yeah, so yeah, I guess. Oh, yes. I was gonna say, because if it's like a dude, I feel like he won't. Like if I get yeah. that, I'm not about this. But if you said that to my sister, she'd be like, this is cool. 100%. Yeah, yeah, 230 to 100, right? 100%. Right? Oh, because I can get the key Exactly. That's so cute. Yeah. Generating yeah. partnerships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I love it. Okay, right, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about... Because we already have a kid's line. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a multi like billion dollar... You have to patent this. Exactly. Okay, so I'll just read through the questions again and we can see if you want to add anything on. Yeah, sure. So for question one, it was, what is your idea when you sell them? To create a whole public sector. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And then question two is what does what do they serve with all right to solve? Good question, yeah, hundred percent. And then who will use it? Who will buy it? Who's the first audience, team, and the group? And then general public. I'll do it for sure, but one minute and fifty seconds. Trials for citizens. Um, how do you make money? Will athletes for public and team sponsors influence the general public? Yeah, exactly. And then. What yes, threats, hurdles will you face? So we said FDA approval, yeah, mm -hmm. job security, yeah. And then, oh, we said that it could also serve as like a ball chart. The hockey idea. You want to yeah, add that somewhere? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, that would maybe, that can go somewhere like, so what problems does it solve? Uh, yeah. Like preventative care almost, right? Yeah. Cool. Right. Preventative care, I like that. Yeah, right? Like, before, if someone's like, yeah, I've seen a board like, like getting to the point where they might be. Oh, you don't have to finish that. Guys are down to the last minute, so work on the right ideas. Okay. Try to be as complete as you can. Try to get through all of the questions. Oh, that's true. So we can see like. It won't give you. Yeah, it won't give you like a solution, but it'll just say like. Maybe you should check on your right, right, right. insulin levels. I don't know. Gotcha. No, no, no. no, 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 no totally. Like it is the job. Gotcha. Okay. It just maybe we'll get them yeah. into the office faster. Faster, maybe. Oh, because at the same time, it could be like an aim, right? Gotcha. Okay. Oh, and then at the same time, if they think about problems. Clinic, that's a better word. <laughs> yeah. Another issue then could be the fact 23 that. 23 seconds. We need to implement, like, introducing this to, like, back to schools. Because yes. we need to make it a little bit faster of preventative care. Right. Or like hygienists, right? Hygienists, like schools, um, yeah. with the dentists. Yeah. Um, seven seconds. What's that one called? We will make money. Three, seven, dental. You know, right? Because yeah. they're going to have to get training on how to implement that. And that is yeah. time, folks. Okay. Yes. All right, you guys finished? Yeah. All done? Almost. Okay. I want something. All right, well, as you write your one sentence, we're going to go to presentations, okay? So we want to see what you come up with. Um, you guys get to go first, so we'll get you up here. Okay. And you can, I don't know if you want this up here. Oh, I'm looking for the questions. Or you can just sit the questions. Yeah, this is trying to work. It's trash and talk about this. So, oh yeah. Okay. Or, you can just stand here. Just like, just Perfect. I'll hold it like this. It'll take about five minutes, you guys. Five minutes? Okay. Yeah. So, eight questions, three of us. What's the lab on? Three, three, and two? Sure. sure. Okay. 
Um, I'll start then. You start? So our product is a crown, a grill, or a tooth gem that contains a chip that monitors the nutrition, the drug use, the air quality, and the overall health of an athlete, but also acts as a mouth guard or preventative care, especially in a sport like hockey. Yeah. Uh, the pa our what was that? You want me to talk about that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so our whole thought process in terms of like, um, oh wait, wait, what was the second one? It was what needs to serve. Oh yeah, okay, cool, yeah. So our thought process was that it can, it's going to serve the need of a lot of athletes because you want to be able to know what you're eating without having to like, be like, oh, what's the macros and the calories and this, that type of thing. And so um, we're really trying to market it to um, that kind of role. Um, do. Yeah, encourage the awareness of health basically, and it really introduces this to popular culture. We know that the gender demographic of people uh, in society tend to take after their idols, and so for a lot of um, young people who take after athletes, if we can target that, then as a byproduct, we can also target a younger demographic at the same time. So, yeah, do you want to do it? Yeah. yeah, and so in terms of how we're going to make money, uh, like Daniel just talked about, um, we believe that our device would be hugely popular with athletes, um, with these um, major league sports players, um, and that trickles down to youth, uh, to um, general society. Um, we know um, what a huge role marketing can play these days. Um, so our plan is to sort of recruit athletes, um, popular figures in the media as um, ambassadors to endorse our products, um, and in that way, we're hoping to kind of get the youth to embrace it as something that's cool and part of popular culture. So, what did they do? Should we keep holding up? Maybe we just like yeah. down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, what threats and hurdles do you face? Yeah. <laughs> so, what threats and hurdles do you face? So, one of the threats or hurdles would be FDA approval, um, making sure that it passes all regulations, food and drug safety. Uh, privacy issues, we're thinking of this chip being connected to like an app on your phone. So um, if it's connected to an app, make sure that no data is leaked and uh, all your personal health information is safe. And then um, another issue would be job security. However, we don't think that this chip or this um, product will do the job of the physician. We think that it'll just provide them, I guess, warnings of their health and get the person, the athlete, whoever, uh, into the clinic a lot faster. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then so to answer what external help will we need and who can help us. So we're gonna need a lot of different specialties. It's really interdisciplinary. So primarily we're definitely gonna need um, a lot of doctors, a lot of specialties. So this is gonna include dietitians, dentists, orthodontists, a lot of, dark, uh, a lot of doctors, of course, a lot of our success is going to come from the marketing, so we need to have a lot of good marketing uh, professionals, as well as the cooperation of a lot of major leagues and kind of sports leagues. We need to make sure that they're okay with us providing this as a mass resource to a lot of the athletes. So we need to have them on board, because I think that that's what would really set us apart from other products, is getting those people on board. And oh, we definitely need a lot of biostatisticians as well to kind of translate all of the information that's going to be compiled into this one singular chip. Yeah, and for um, the crown reveal of what we've decided to call our device, um, we've gone with a long name, uh, so Wide Scope Dental or Dietary Monitoring, we're not quite there yet, um, but that's a mouthful, um, we don't want people to be full, which is why we have these cool tooth gems and things, um, so we're calling it Wisdom, um, and here's our logo, it's sort of a W, um, SDM, so Wisdom, and here's our logo. That's genius. Um, and then, what is the first step that you need to make uh, progress today? So we said that we need to really look at research and development um, in terms of like how we can fit the chip into a mold or how we can make a crown, a grill, a tooth gem, really kind of make it personal. Because some people might need a full um, kind of um, retainer, some people like maybe just a little tooth gem. Um, another thing, again, with material, do, are we going to use metals, are we going to use plastic? Um, is it going to be something that's more sustainable? And models, what is, again, what is this going to look like? Crown, grill, tooth gem, can we make it more personal to the consumer? And then uh, scope of targets, so I guess it was like what kind of athletes we're yeah. hitting and what kind of people we're um, marketing this to. Yeah. That also includes into the scope of targets because we know that we talked about so many types of things like oral health, also the nutrition factors of food and stuff. We really want to know 
how much of that are actually going to be able to include in the product mm -hmm. because that like encompasses like a lot a lot of health factors like your diet or, or oral health um, and then we were also talking about like air quality and stuff so we just don't know how much of that we can actually include in the product so Take, like, any criticism at all. Yes, I have a question. So, and this is me with my Dragon's Den hat on. Um, how are you going to deal with the inevitable backlash of the first time one of your sensors is hacked and, you know, they, uh, the person can't control their own data? Or what are you going to do about the bad PR from the folks who are already paranoid that their fillings are talking to them and giving them radio signals? <laughs> Um, that's a really interesting question. Um, um, and I, I think it's um, kind of inevitable to acknowledge that um, security um, in terms of data, um, things going to clouds, um, can be such a hot topic these days. Um, I think one thing we want to make sure that people still feel that they have is autonomy, um, which is why we're having sort of this wide range of products. Um, we can, we can let folks kind of customize what sort of technology they're choosing to have in their implant. Um, maybe they do want certain things monitored, maybe they don't want other things monitored, maybe they want um, what they're intaking, the air quality, things like that monitored, but they don't want um, information about their body itself to be monitored. That's one step that they can take to kind of protect their privacy and make sure that they're not taking information that they're not comfortable sharing. Um, did you guys want to elaborate on that? Not to sound like <laughs> but maybe it could be something along the lines of you pay what you want. So maybe. if you just want a dietary monitoring, it could be like the base level cost. And then if you want something that is more um, complex, such as drug use, oral care, maybe you pay a little bit extra. That way the consumer can determine how much their information is being monitored. Yeah, I think that. Just to add on, with our infinite pool of resources and money, we'll have the very best people on board to yeah uh, ensure security better than all of the major like you know companies right now. So like I don't see it being a problem at all. So you have concepts of the security plan. Exactly. Yeah, and then there's also the fact that it's not a permanent implant; it's more of like a removable type thing. If you want it as like a retainer, so you fully dictate when it's monitoring, when it's not monitoring. So. And another thing with like the external help, we could also implement some of, um, computer science engineering. Yeah, <laughs> Someone that we actually know a little bit more about tech than we do. Perfect. Well, well done, you guys. Thank Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, team two, you're up. Take five minutes to explain, and then we'll do questions. Do you want? Do you want this slide or the next? Slide? <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up. Sorry. Okay. All right. I know. Um, uh, Let's go to 10% of my company. <laughs> and go to it. Hi, everybody. We're the CFC guys. <laughs> if you care to know what the acronym stands for, it stands for the Cal Fart guys. <laughs> the, the reason why we're choosing to do this is because we want to use the unavoidable to help stop the preventable. The energy crisis in the world affects every single country including developed nations and underdeveloped nations, and we're looking for a strategy that can be used throughout, throughout the entire globe and can help these countries build up the critical infrastructure needed to succeed. Yeah, as you know, like climate change is one of the top three like, uh, issues that is, uh, as a uh, species we are facing right now. So yeah, we are hoping to help reuse methane um, in ways that can be uh, helpful for like government or people, households, yeah. 3.7 million metric tons of methane are produced from landfills in the last 20 years. And 19% of Canada's methane production has actually came from landfills present in the country. And if there's one thing that humans are good at, no matter what country you're from, no matter how developed it is, is that we're always good at making trash. And trash produces a significant source of methane. And our goal is to do a dirty job to create clean energy. Yeah, so should I just read the... Yeah, you want to read off that? Go for it. Okay, so the CFC folks, we have uh, created a methane collection service uh, product to ease the effects of rising energy uh, costs and, um, and help combat the current energy crisis. 
this product will appeal to small level home consumers up to nations to serve fuel needs. We anticipate distribution to be an issue initially, however, well, um, we'll combat this by generating um, part partnerships with governments uh, and um, regions, creating, creating jobs for citizens and uh, giving um, large amounts of capital. This product will crave, uh, create a massive public sector of jobs reusing the Sorry. <laughs> no. Yes, that's not your writing. <laughs> yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> Unav or the unavoidable. So. <laughs> it uses the unavoidable waste from everyday life. We will make more. We will make money generating shareholder value from turning worthless trash into priceless power. So the whole idea behind is that we avoid the problem of of distribution by partnering with governments. Governments are able to are able to supply us with a large amount of capital, give us lots of money, and it'll in turn we create a job for a public sector of governments to have people working in this company collecting methane and spreading it around the world. <laughs> yeah, so. Basically yeah, we're using methane for like rocket fuel, for like warming households. Um, yeah. And yeah, you can basically collect trash and then reuse that methane for so, uh, methane is free. highly, highly flammable. At a lot of garbage dumps, they're really strict on having flames near the area because of how like, literally a, one little Zippo lighter could just... That's how flammable the gas is, and it can be used to boil water, create steam, and turn a turbine, and generate power. And methane, you can find it everywhere, coming out of cows, coming out of trash. <laughs> so, we turn something that we find for free off the ground all around us, into priceless energy. That's all. Awesome. Uh, comment and a quick question. So um, my my comment is this was such a missed opportunity to say your trash is our treasure. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you have that for free? Um, I thought I came up with two pretty good ones too. Like, <laughs> that's and, pretty good. And then what does the second C in the cow fart guys sit down for? Oh sorry, it was supposed to be collection. cow fart collection. I messed up. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Right. Uh, cool. Well, that's very innovative and a very, you know, useful sector. Um, any questions from the audience at all? I have a question. Let's hear it. So, because you're like gonna try to include methane as a source of energy to like people as well, like the general public, right? Yeah. Like that, right. So, I feel like a lot of people who aren't very educated about what methane is. Methane is kind of like that thing where people know that it's like a fart, right? So, it, like people know it's smelling. Right, if you're not like educated about like what it really is, so how are you gonna deal with the fact that people are gonna be linking the fact that you're trying to take something really smelly and introduce it to their home? So the idea behind it is that it'll be stored in a container, and you shouldn't. Well, it it'll kind of have the smell of natural gas. If you've ever driven down the northwest side of the city in the industrial area, you'll drive past the waste management center. Very very distinct smell in about like a 10 kilometer radius in that area. That's all the methane that's being produced from the garbage there. And the idea is kind of you think about power stations. Those power stations are located in that same area where the waste management center is. And it's not that this is being delivered to your home, it's being delivered to power stations to boil water, create steam, turn a generator. So it's not necessarily in your house, but it's going to keep your lights on. Yeah, and like when you use gas at home, like you don't really smell it unless like you don't turn on the gas. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, as long as you turn it on, you'll be fine. <laughs> it could be used for cooking. You could cook your steak and ground beef and cow farts. <laughs> you can also market it as a as a feature, not a bug, right? So we add um, the smell to propane gas to as a safety feature. So, so no, nobody will die of hypoxia from <laughs> using methane. You will smell it. It's not odorless. Right, you, smell, well you smell farts, get out of your house. So we're going to give yourselves a round of applause. So we're going to take one minute to wrap up, and then um, I'll tell you where we go next. Okay, have a seat. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, so I want you to think about what you learned from this, what made a good team, um, you know, what helped you um, brainstorm, innovate, where, you know, what worked for you, what didn't. Okay. A couple of insights.
that I had is um, you guys did something that we didn't quite talk about. At one point, you just said, "Okay, we're kind of getting bogged down on questions," and you said, "Okay, let's just post all the questions and then just go through them." And you guys did something we call rapid inter iteration. You guys just wanted to get things done. Um, so that was a really interesting, um, good for you guys for getting through that. And then uh, you guys just were really focused from the start on you know doing something that had a major impact on humanity, focusing on climate change, big picture thinking. So very well done. Um, if you have comments, I know we're at time. I'm we'll stick around for a few minutes, okay? And then one thing I'll invite you to do. This is uh, when we had a three-hour version of this. That was a workshop. We did a second exercise called future forecasting and learning how to predict. Um, future scenarios looking at two different um, variables. You can look at time, you can look at political climate, you can look at AI, um, you can look at the authoritarian versus democratic scenarios. So I want you guys to go through these because sometimes this ends up being one of the exam questions. Um, so I've decided what the exam questions will be, okay? And then if you have questions about it, just so you've kind of familiarized yourself with um, future forecasting and the kind of grids that may be asked for you. Okay, that's it. You guys are free, and we'll stick around for a few minutes, okay? Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure being part of this class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the uh, midterm is given over a very long period of time. You don't have to stay there for the whole two hours and uh, 50 minutes, but Shauna's part of the exam is the most useful to spend time on. Because the more you put into it, the more you get back from her. So, so you know, that's kind of one way to think of the strategy for the midterms. And the whiteboards, you guys, are yours?